hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT, Dynamite, Explosive One, TNT, Niano, and my GHT. Hi. Hello. I just made the mistake of looking at Reddit for two seconds. What happened? Woo! Do I need to do that? Woo! Is, is, is there a big news? Woo! And there's always big news. Dude, so. it's out there. It's happening. <clears throat> Thank you for the Crazy Town Podcast. Whether you're joining us on our, our YouTube channel under Crazy Town Media, uh, subscribe there. Or uh, on uh, Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, all that ish. This guy's on Twitch. TNT Dynamite on Twitch every single day, 9, 10 a.m. Central. That is TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore Crazy Town. Come and hang out with me live. Because I'm your boy. <laughs> yeah, you are. You are everyone's boy. Your boy. So. Friend. <laughs> what? You're everybody's boyfriend? I will be. If they come and <laughs> watch me. we're dating now? <laughs> 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 if you're everybody's boyfriend, we're dating, right? Yeah, yes, you're dating everyone. <laughs> um, so the world's going on. We're here talking the about world's it. World's <laughs> going on. So <laughs> I wanted to jump into a story. Right. It, it's coronavirus related, but not about coronavirus. Yeah. Huh? So uh, I'll believe it when I hear it. So in uh, in India. They have a lot of people there. Yeah, man. Um, Hard to social distance. You know, and, you know, due due to the due to the situation, you know, they're taking people's blood samples and stuff and testing to see if they have a sickness. You know, they're taking. They don't take blood to test for corona. They just stick a thing up your nose. Yeah, well, I guess. Well, some places they test it different. Maybe they're testing for antibodies. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, I guess maybe. Yeah, but uh, so there was a uh, a man who was working at one of their labs. Huh? He decided he was like, you know. I got to take these blood samples to wherever the hell he had to take them. The best way to take them, walk them your damn self over there. I mean, that is the, the it takes the least amount of resources to just walk it over to yourself. Right, dude. It's like, you know, and, uh, you know, he was like, he was just taking this stroll through downtown, take, making his way downtown, walking fast. <laughs> Faces past and he's, and he's homebound. Yeah, doodly doo to do, doodly doo to do. He just wanted some food. He was like, nothing's open because we're locked down. Jonas, I will totally sing that whole song I know you right will. now. <laughs> so, uh, on his way, he was attacked by a band of monkeys <laughs> who stole the coronavirus blood samples and, and ran off with them. What? <laughs> no joke. They said later they found one of the monkeys up in a tree chewing on one of the fucking blood samples. <laughs> So these fucking thieving ass monkeys came and stole the blood samples and then were chomping on them. What in a the fuck? <laughs> and if their physiology is as close to humans, dude, then they can get it. Right. And I mean, that's direct contact. It's like literally blood in your mouth. <laughs> like, I was like, these fucking monkeys just came out. And you know why they're doing that, Jonas? Because India had to go through their social distancing thing, and it disrupted the ecosystem, Jonas. Much like the ecosystem is disrupted for us as humans, man. It, it it starts at the bottom and trickles up, or it starts at the top and trickles down. One other way. Right, but, right. But those monkeys depended on those people eating fast food and living their day-to-day -day lives to maintain their lifestyle, and they're just like, we need it. Yeah, you've uh, I've seen uh, a lot of different stories about like just animals are showing. They're like, we've seen the spotted snow leopard we haven't seen in twenty eight thousand years appeared in Bangladesh, and you're yeah. like, excuse me, <laughs> like fucking pandas are fucking. Yeah, they said like <laughs> sea turtles are like they're having like the biggest birth growth rates ever because no one's at the beach fucking up their pods and. There's like dolphins swimming in the oh, Italy's. Go figure. Humans are pushing animals out of their natural <laughs> habitat. Yep. So the Earth released some antibodies to get rid of people. <laughs> the mother nature's like karma's a bitch. <laughs> All <laughs> you damn humans out here gonna get out here. <laughs> <laughs> All you dang humans. <laughs> Can we make Earth sound racist? <laughs> wow. You, you know. You know what, Jonas? <laughs> If you think about it, dude, I'm about to blow your mind. I uh -oh. swear, I swear, I haven't smoked any weed. I don't do that. <laughs> I don't, but, <laughs> but, you're taking hallucinogens. I swear, I haven't. But it just blew my mind, Jonas, that we're like, we're like cancer to the world, dude. Yeah, dude. 
Like, we are like a malik growth, dude, that is impeding the natural order of things, man. Yeah, dude. And Mother Nature was like, God damn you humans and all your human things doing your human stuff. Right? And then the Earth, it releases antibodies to try to kill us, man, because we're killing it, man. Is there a virus in us, or are we the virus of the Earth? We're the virus of the Earth, man. We're the problem, man. Yeah? All right, I'm Anyways. done. I'm done. <laughs> That was but, my uh, teach and show and scene. But it is uh but it is great. They're saying like the rats are getting super aggressive because they don't have any scraps of food to eat. And yeah, shit. I've heard that. I've heard even like pigeons attacking people in New York, man. It's oh, because oh, because all the people would just go and hang out and throw food to the pigeons. Yeah, so they're like starving, and you know they go into starvation mode, and you know a lot of people out there are starving. Oh, because like, if you think about it, how much natural food do pigeons have in a city? It's more along the lines of that they forget how to survive in the wild. Oh, because they're just give. They're like it's like we hand them food, and then they're like, "Where's all our? F I'm hungry." Wow, this is like an ant. This is such an ancillary for like the fucking current way this shit is, dude. It's so crazy. <laughs> like we got a little too used to this. You know, all right, never mind, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, dude. Monkey, yeah, the monkeys came and just stole. So them. did they find the monkeys? Are they like going around shooting monkeys in India? I don't, I don't know, dude. It didn't really say. It just said that yeah. later they found in a village in a tree chewing on one dude. of the samples or a, the cartridge it was in. Or... I wouldn't leave the house, dude. I would never. I wouldn't ever. I wouldn't. Leave leave the house if that happened in austin you'd be like no nope. oh, yeah if they were like oh pack of wild monkeys got their hands on some corona blood <laughs> yeah i'm good i'm good <laughs> can, I, can, can you <laughs> i was just like wow that's yeah because that was my thought i was like if he just like eats that like is that gonna make him they're talking about like cats, some like a tiger caught it. A cats caught it. Uh, the first uh, account of a dog catching it. It was a pug too, which kind of makes sense. Yeah, pugs are because they're they're so. little abominations. So, yeah, that's what I meant. It was kind of about corona, but not like about corona. It was just we. I was like, how the fuck are monkeys attacking a man stealing? That was a good story. I'm, I'm not mad at that. <laughs> good. Well, Jonas, I want to talk more about these. Uh, you know, NASCAR. Oh, racers gonna race, dude! Racers are gonna race, Jonas. <laughs> There's racers all racing out and everywhere right, lately. So the good old boys down at NASCAR, they can't have their events, so they've been doing the e-events, the virtual events. Yeah. But they're still just as, uh, what do you call it? Racist? No, Jesus Christ, no. They're still <laughs> just as, they're still just as, uh, when a company, uh, promotes. What Advertised? Yeah, but when when they wear it on their person. Oh, uh sponsored. Sponsored. They're still just as sponsored as they were when they were doing the real races. But there's been uh we reported on the one time where one of the racers said the N word. Because he says mic wasn't working. That's oh. how he tested. He's like he's like, Can you guys hear me? N word. Testing one, two, three, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> But there's also yeah. been, <laughs> there's also been events of a guy rage quitting. Uh, oh, yeah, he just shut the whole machine. Yeah, down. he shut the whole thing down, <laughs> and uh, you know, and then he went on Twitter, and that man he lost a lot of endorsements because of the attitude that he was giving. Well, because, yeah, he looked like a little baby out there, dude. Yeah, and the sponsors, you know, they're putting a lot of money into this, so they clarity or the seriousness. How, that but it, how can you treat it as serious if you're like you're a race car driver and you're like. Eh. Like, dude. Yo, if it's getting you a check, man, you gotta take that check serious. <laughs> right, right, you could be like this spaghetti cooking case. <laughs> you're getting paid. I'm like, exactly. this is the best. Yeah, right. <laughs> so uh, there was a man who quit, and there was also a, a person who, after he felt injustice, he decided to just ram his car into somebody, a virtual car, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I heard about that one too. <laughs> and uh, you know that was problematic too, dude. These people who do NASCAR, it's coming out more and more that they're just b giant man babies. Like you see, like in the in the NASCAR events, where like in the past, where people they get mad that he cut them off and they go up and like punch him after the race and stuff. Like, yeah, it's like, are you that uncontrolled of your emotions? That you're like, you cut me, I'm gonna come just punch you in the face. Like, holy shit, dude. <laughs> fair enough, man. They think they should win. <laughs> But the, the the one that I want to talk about uh, today was for a charity race. Oh, God. And there was a man named Dan Apt. Now, Dan Apt had, you know, he'd been racing for a while, and he had never really gotten out of 15th place in these E-events. Okay. So, 
What do you do, Jonas? How do you get how do you get good? Oh, I think I may know, so you tell me. Dan Apt decided to hire <laughs> <laughs> I can't, what is his name? Leon Lorenz Hertzing, who was a professional gamer. Yep. I heard to about play for in him. his place <laughs> for the charity event race. He ended up coming in third place. And all of a sudden, flags are like, bing, 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 why is the sky all of a sudden good? It's like, hey, he's never really got past 15, so why? So they checked his, uh, not his VPN. Is it his VPN? His ISP? Whatever, yeah. Either way, they checked his shit. They found out that there was no way it was coming from App's apartment. It was coming from fucking Germany or wherever the fuck <laughs> Le- Lorenz Hertzing is from. He was, so Dan Apt was, he was caught. Yeah. He admitted what he did. Uh, Lorenz Hertzing, he admitted to what he did, and he was uh, Dan App was dropped by Team Audi, and he was also fined ten thousand euros. Yes, yeah. euros, man. That's that's not a small fine. Um, Hertzing was banned from any other uh, e sports events dealing with racing, <laughs> dude. It, well, and the guy I, I read the, I read the story, the, the NASCAR, or the F one guy, whatever it was, was like. Dude, it was a just like what? Like That's why do I? I'm he's saying. like it wasn't enough. He's like these official races aren't official anyways, and this was a charity race. It's like you talking about practice. Like it's practice for practice, right, you know? dude? You're talking about a charity event that yeah. is a virtual fake thing. <sighs> That's the thing is that they're looking at it like it's a virtual fake thing. Like the other dude was like, I thought it was just a prank, dude. He was <laughs> a prank. <laughs> I hate that so bad. But he basically blamed it on it being a prank. Because it was just like a virtual race, but it's still, like I said, there's still a lot of money going into it. So yeah, it's, they, well, they it's wanted just, to be treated serious. I mean, I get what they're doing, but like you're trying to get like people who drive real cars to drive fake virtual cars. Like It ain't the same thing, dude. <laughs> That'd be like taking a guy who's a, a marksman with a sniper rifle and putting him in car. Lot- <laughs> okay, Jonas, look. It's a lot like... It's a lot like a person that's been working in an office and then a global pandemic breaks out and they're like, hey, you got to work from home, but we're expecting you to put in the same amount of work that you did when you were at the office. Is that what they say? That's what it is. Everybody got to work from home. That don't mean you can just take lackadaisical breaks and just start ramming your cars into people just because you're working from home. I'm yeah. sorry if it's not what you used to, but guess what? It's still a freaking job. <laughs> Like- so yeah, guess what? You couldn't say the N word. You probably could say the N word at work if you were if you're a NASCAR racer. Oh my god! I'm just saying. He's like, what? That's how we pass the mics all the time. Yeah. If I can't communicate to the pit, I just start saying the N word, <laughs> and then then they know I can hear them. Funny enough, it. Pre- if it wasn't for the esports aspect, it probably would have just flew under the radar. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> They just would have like bleeped that one out on the on the live the live feed. It's like we said the f word or something. Well, because you don't even hear the racers on uh... unless they're mic'd up. Yeah, occasionally yeah, yeah. they do mic up the racers though, yeah. just to get that real experience when they mic up like a football player, you know. But and it's always like it's always just like oh man, I right, okay, come in for the pit. Oh, right. it's like what are they really saying in the car, yeah, dude? They're talking about shit, dude. Dude, if I was in the car though, I feel like I would just be like raging at the other drivers because the whole time, like if I was a NASCAR driver, yeah, why is this dude on my ass? I'm like, dude, I'm trying to go 290 miles an hour. You're only going 285. What the hell? <laughs> Fair. Yeah. So we got a little bit of time. I got a bonus story. So. Uh, the the real story that I found is kind of like a conspiracy theory, but it it the it comes from something that's true and that I didn't know was true, and I didn't know if you knew this. So the story that I found was that Elon Musk wants to take nuclear weapons into space, which I was like, excuse me, what? Oh yeah, they just launched that uh, that rocket up too. Yeah, I guess, but I guess what it is, <clears throat> I guess uh, you know, Elon Musk has talked about wanting to. Uh, colonize mars yeah space sex. but i did not realize and i guess he's been talking about this for like five years that he wants to bomb mars because he said that he wants to terraform the environment so he he speculates mm-hmm. that if you drop a bomb on mars mm-hmm. the heat from the bombs could cause the polar ice caps to melt 
which would release CO2 into the atmosphere, which would then cause a greenhouse effect, which would raise the temperature of the planet to support human life. Big fucking if, right? Because what if you go up there and drop a bomb and then the planet just implodes and ru- it ruins the whole solar system, like whatever. But hmm. so then this guy, who, whoever the story, I don't even know what what fucking where I it was like some Russian dude's like he just wants to take nukes up there and I'm like <laughs> okay crazy man but like no dude I mean I'm sure that he's done the research because like why would you make just like some crazy claim now Elon Musk is crazy but yeah he does say some crazy shit but. that's not to take away from the intelligence of him and the team of very highly intelligent scientists that uh that would help him come up with this idea right um, but like, well, the guy, the Russian guy was trying to say that huh. like the idea of what he's trying to do wouldn't be able to be done with one bomb. It would take oh, like no. thousands of bombs yes. to, to do. And he's like, so it, it, that's why he's saying it's just an excuse for him to take nukes up into, up into space or something. And I'm like, what would that what do? Would that Is he just going to threaten to drop nukes from space on the, like, I mean, honestly, space yeah. force, honestly, what could he do? anything dude if you have space nukes dude yeah <laughs> if you have space nukes dude yeah you can you can do anything it's just like the threat of having a space nuke is like like <laughs> the threat of having to have, the man who has space nukes this reminds me of like a fucking comic book fucking super villain or something it's shit. like dr evil up there with yeah. a space nuke he's dude. like i don't have any superpowers but i have a hundred and five thousand nukes, Superman. <laughs> Space nukes. <laughs> and they're pinpoint targets all over the world. What will you do? <laughs> and how can Superman catch them all and throw them back yeah. into space? If you kill me, Superman, the nukes go off. <laughs> <laughs> right. I want one million dollars. That's in- <laughs> it. <laughs> Meanwhile, you spent three thousand billion trillion dollars no. on, on the nukes. Yeah, and that you know what? And honestly, that makes me think there's an ulterior motive. What to him going to Mars? Uh, yeah, man. It just I don't I don't really see like I get it because it's it's free real estate. Honestly, if you the government well, can't own Mars, if you could colonize Mars, if you could be the first person it's to a colonize, to start over essentially. He ain't starting over. He's gonna start and take advantage of anything. He's like, oh, okay. We see how civilization has progressed. So. Right. You go there and you become the king, <laughs> the god, the pope, the church, the state, the everything. You run it all. It's, it's like we first we rename we rename Mars Musk. Yeah, yeah. We have the planet Musk. And then it's going to be like the utopia. It's he's just going to bring all the people he wants there. But it, but don't, don't they say like if you even if we take a shuttle there, it takes literal years. Of flying to get there because uh, it's know. so far away or whatever. I, I don't it's know. It's something like that. But, but then the planet's also cold. That's why he wants to nuke it. Yeah, you would think it wouldn't be cold. It's closer to no the Mars sun. is farther away. Is it further away? Yeah. Mm. So it's like yeah, that's why we're the temp. We're like the perfect position because mm. we have the right temperature to, for human life. But who's right. not to say the the Martians? Dude, what if Martians are invisible and we just can't see them walking around on the planet? That's what I'm saying. What if they man. burrow underground? They have a whole big underground system, and the top of their planet is just a faux thing. F- faux thing? Faux life. Faux by faux? <laughs> Jonas, I think that we don't make enough money to have the information about why these people do the things they do, man. What, are you trying to say that like there's a different class of people that have information we don't have? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm saying that. That's yeah. how the world works? I'm just, I'm crazy, right? Dude, no. Dude, I'm just waiting for Trump, Trump to drop aliens, man. I feel you told like, me that. You're I like, do. Like you're like, you're like, you're like, just like, I don't know if I'm going to win the presidency. Guess what? Here's all the proof we have on aliens. Right. All right. I'm waiting for him to do it. I'm saying is that there is a less there is a less than zero or more than zero chance percent chance that he's just going to be like fuck it, leak aliens. Yeah, there's aliens. Guess what? I've seen them. <laughs> <laughs> I seen them. I got one on my phone. He's got to tweet. Just tweet a picture of one out. I can see the look on Mike Pence's face. <laughs> no, dude, it's going to be like no Donald, and he's going to be like no fuck it. There's aliens. Wow. You people don't know there's aliens. I don't do a good Trump impersonation. You do yours. <laughs> I don't have one. I didn't know there were aliens. <laughs> I 
Didn't know they were aliens. Ask China about the aliens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. So, right. you know, I was like, I didn't even know that that was his plan. I was like, how did I have to find like some random weird conspiracy that he's trying to get nukes into space to find out he's trying to bomb Mars? Yeah, dude. And Superman doesn't exist. How do we know that the, the flight he just set off with those two dudes doesn't just have like a secret little nuke in it? <laughs> Take it to the space station. A secret little nuke. <laughs> what was what was the premise of that, Jonas? Uh, I don't really understand what the SpaceX thing is. I haven't done any research. They're just sending those two care. guys to the space station. Oh, okay. Um, but because NASA stopped doing manned spaceships, mm, yeah. so I guess they've been working with SpaceX for the last, like, 10 years almost to put – I think that's how we're going to send people back and forth to, like, the space station and shit now mm. um, is because they're not doing those big-ass shuttles and all that stuff. Um, oh, so it's just like the co- the – private jets of like yeah but i mean they work with nasa so i mean they're kind of shuttle bus it's almost like they uh third party the space shuttles out instead of nasa working on them but um here here's what my thought was dude we have a pandemic going on yeah what if like these dudes pop up there one of them got to brony and now it's all up in the space station i mean that's a chance jonas there's also a chance that one of those dudes could have the herpes and they could spread it around the space station. They're all going to be barebacking up there, dude. Yeah, I don't know. There's a chance for anything. One of them could have a small parasite that they could bring down from the space station, bring it back here, dude, and it's dude. super... And all of a sudden, aliens are popping out of people's chests yeah, and shit, dude. dude. Like... And it's like Venom comes out. And... <laughs> <laughs> Venom comes out, huh? Yeah, Venom movie. No? Yeah, no, dude. No, I, one time I had Venom coming out. Dude. The world. Making your way in the world today. Takes everything you got, it fucking dude. does, man. I hope that everybody at home is living healthy and that you're staying away from the herpes, the space herpes. <laughs> <laughs> um, the space herpes. <laughs> you got, yeah, if you got regular herpes, you're all right. But space herpes, you yeah, don't dude, want that Yeah, dude, watch out. Pandemic 2021, space herpes yeah. coming your way. <laughs> Venom come out of your dick, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Either way, whether it's actual Venom or whether it's Spider Man's nemesis, dude. You're in the- <laughs> actual cartoon <laughs> Venom. Yeah. Hey, guys. You're like, ah, dude, you're really big. <laughs> dude, I think you got space herpes. <laughs> <laughs> How did Venom become? Isn't Venom something? What was what's his origin? Yeah, that was that's kind of what I implied, Jonas. I know, I know my memes, they, they go over your head sometimes. It's cool. Yeah, I was implying that Venom. Because his origin is that he was a symbiote from space. You see, now I'm explaining it, and it loses a lot of the comedy to it, you see? Dude, it's <laughs> funny, though. Get it? It's like, haha, dude, knee slaps. It's, it's just like telling a joke and then saying, get it. Get it? <laughs> see, that's what you're forcing me to do. What if it's like telling a joke that's like controversial, and everyone gets offended, and then you're like, but you get it? No, then you just double down. <laughs> <laughs> it, it worked for Kramer. <laughs> oh. It worked for Louis C.K. Oh, <laughs> it worked God. for God, those Bill so, Cosby. Those were so awkward, dude. It oh, worked God. for Bill Holy Cosby. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't work for any of them, huh? Nope. <laughs> just doubled down. Nope. <laughs> and he just doubled down. <laughs> he just doubled down, dude. He and just like, oh my God, he did it again. <laughs> he just keeps doing it. <laughs> I guess he thinks it's okay now. Like, you know, like, by the time you do it the fourth time, you're like, you're still not laughing. Huh? Well, <laughs> here's number five. <laughs> Never know, dude. Maybe it just takes a minute for people to catch up. Like, the comedy's, <laughs> it's, it's like, it's before their time. So by the time you do it, like, five times, they're like, oh, I get it now. Oh, now it's funny. I get it. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sexual abuse. Oh, boo. Nope, didn't work for any of them. Nope. Won't work going forward. Space herpes might work for that. Oh, yeah. Space herpes, comic gold. <laughs> <laughs> Venom. All right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Uh, follow this guy on Twitch. TNT Nine and Minimum Twitch every single day, 9, 10 a.m. Central. That's TNT D I N O M I G H T. Yep. Underscore crazy town. Yep. But for Jonas, TNT. we'll catch you on the next one. We are. Out.